Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator? Here you see that calculator is not allowed in this question. If we have 16 to the power of 6 minus 16 to the power of 5. So we write this expression into the simplified or lowest form. So the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to uh, rewrite this expression as this is 16 to the power of 6 and we write this 6 as 5 plus 1 minus this is 16 to the power of 5 and here we use this nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this rule of exponents we uh, break this exponent as 16 to the power of 5 multiplied by 16 to the power of 1 minus 16 to the power of 5 and now you see here both of these two terms involve 16 to the power of 5 so that we will take common 16 to the power of 5 and we get the remaining values are 16 minus 1 this will become 16 to the power of 5 multiplied by 16 minus 1 equals to 15 and now further in the next step uh, here we need to write the prime factors of 16 and we know about that 2 to the power of 5 is equals to 16 sorry 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 and now we replace the 16 is equals to 2 to the power of 4 and after replacing this it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 5 is multiplied by 15 and here we use another exponential law and you know about that uh, if we have exponent to the exponent so these exponents are multiplied by each other and here we can apply this law it will become if we have a to the power of m to the power of n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule of exponent we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 becomes 20 and it is multiplied by 15. So here uh, we again rewrite this 2 to the power of 20 as this is 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 becomes 20 and it is multiplied by this 15. So here again we use this exponent law from right to left side. So here we move this 10 inside the term and it will become 2 to the power of 10 and its whole square is multiplied by 15. So here you know about that the value of 2 to the power of 10 is equals to 1024. So this is the uh, very simplified uh, form you easily get the value of 2 to the power of 10 without using the calculator. So this simply means that you just multiply 2 with 10 times and you usually get uh, 1024 by using the traditional method of multiplication okay i hope so uh, you find this value without using the calculator and now here we need to replace this value here and it will becomes 1024 whole square is multiplied by 15. so here the next challenge is that we need to find the square of a very bigger number without using the calculator so here I can just give you uh, a smart test technique in which you can easily taking the square of any bigger numbers without using the calculator or without any long calculations. I can just give you a unique method which is not a traditional method of multiplication or traditional method of squares. I hope so you like this method. So please watch this video at the end. Now here uh, this is 1024. Uh, you know about that if we have x squared it means that x multiplied by x similarly in the same pattern if you have 1024 it means that 1024 is multiplied by 1024 and its resulting answer is multiplied by this 15 okay i hope so you understand now here uh, the uh, our smartest technique is starting here now we need to first break this value and it will be written as this is 1024 we break this uh, term as into the thousand hundred tens and ones form okay so we write this 1024 as 1000 plus 20 plus 4 
and here its resulting answer is multiplied by this 15 and further in the next step we need to multiply this 1024 on each of these values and it will become here 1024 is multiplied by 1000 plus this is 1024 is multiplied by 20 plus 1024 is multiplied by 4 and its resulting answer is multiplied by this 15. So here first we need to multiply these values and it will become 1024 times 1000 equals to 1024 and triple zero. Here uh, we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. So here uh, we multiply first zero with this number. You know that when we multiply zero with any other number it will become zero. Two times of this number equals to two fours are eight, two twos are four, two zeros are zero and two ones are two. Plus in the same pattern we multiply these two numbers we consider this is one digit number so we multiply 4 with each of these values it will become 4 4 is a 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 2 is a 8 8 plus 1 is 9 4 0 is a 0 and 4 1 is a 4 so it is multiplied by 15 and further in the next step we need to sum up all of these values and it will become here this is here we need to sum up these values by using the traditional method of addition so we have 0 plus 0 plus 6 becomes 6 this 0 plus 8 plus 9 becomes 17 we write 7 and carry 1 this 0 plus 4 becomes 4 4 plus 0 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 and we have this is 4 plus 0 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 this is 2 plus 2 is 4 and we get the remaining two numbers are 0 and 1. So here this is the our final answer in this way and now we need to multiply this answer with this 15. So here we again break this 15 as 10, well, 10 plus 5. We know that 10 plus 5 becomes 15 and now here we need to multiply this number on separately on both of these values and it will become so when you multiply this value with 10 it will becomes 1048576 and we just add 10 plus when we multiply this number with 5 it will be written as 5 times 6 becomes 30 we write 0 and carry 3 5 7s are 35 35 plus 3 becomes 38 we write 8 and carry 3 5 5 is a 25, 25 plus 3 becomes 28, we write 8 and carry 2, we have 5 8 is a 40, 40 plus 2 becomes 42, we write 2 and carry 4, 5 4 is a 20, 20 plus 4 becomes 24, we write a 4 and carry 2, 5 0 is a 0, 0 plus 2 becomes 2 and 5 1 is a 5. So here in the final step we need to uh, sum up all of these values by traditional method of addition we have this is 0 plus 0 becomes 0 6 plus 8 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 7 plus 8 becomes 15 15 plus 1 becomes 16 we write 6 and carry 1 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 4 becomes 12 we write 2 and carry 1 4 plus 2 becomes 6, 6 plus 1 is 7 and 0 plus 5 becomes 5 and at the last we will get here 1 only. So finally we have the final simplified form of 16 to the power of 6 minus 16 to the power of 5 is equals to this one. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.